Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Ale Review, Archive. I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared the continuation of our topic, History of Architecture. We are now at episode 7. So let's go guys. 101. A shallow cistern or drain area in the center of a house. Answer. Influvium. Next. In Greek temples, the equivalent of a creep is the blank. Again, in Greek temples, the equivalent of the creep is the blank. Answer. Naos. 103. The tomb beneath a church. Again, what do you call the tomb beneath a church? Answer. Crypt. 104. A raised stage reserved for the clergy in early Christian churches. Answer. Bema. A decorative bracket usually taking the form of a sima reversa strap. Answer. Console. 106. Semi palatial house surrounded by an open site. Answer. Villa. 107. A Roman house with a central patio. Again, what do you call a Roman house with a central patio? Answer. Atrium house. 108. Revival of classical Roman style. Again, what do you call the revival of Roman classical style? Answer. Romanesque. 110. A bu in Buddhist architecture, a monumental structure containing a relics of Buddha and some Buddhist saints. Again, in Buddhist architecture, a monumental structure containing a relics of Buddha and some Buddhist saints. Answer. Dagoba. 112. First registered architect in the Philippines. Again, who is the first registered architect in the Philippines? Answer, Thomas Mapua. Next, the public square in Imperial Rome. Again, what do you call the public square of Imperial Rome? Answer, Forum. Next, who is the architect of Manila Hilton Hotel? Answer, Welton Beckett. Next, the finest example of French Gothic architecture. Answer, Chartres Cathedral. 116, how many stained glass are there in the Chartres Cathedral? Answer, 176 Next, Agora is from what architecture? Answer, Brick Next, Sacred Artificial Mounting of Babylon and Assyria Again, what do you call the Sacred Artificial Mounting of Babylon and Assyria? Answer, Sigurat. Next, a plant whose leaves form the lower portion of the Corinthian capital. Answer, Acanthus. 120, structure of wedge-shaped blocks 
over an opening? Answer? Arc. 121. The space between the sloping roof over the aisle and the aisle vaulting, so also called a blind story. Answer? Triforium. Next, a windowed wall that rises above the roof of adjacent walls that admit lights into the interior. Answer? Clara's story. Next, a standard usually of length by which the proportion of a building are determined. Again, a standard usually of length by which the proportion of a building are determined. Answer? Module. Next, the triangular or segmental space enclosed by a pediment or arc. Again, the triangular or segmental space enclosed by a pediment or arc. Answer? Timpanum. Next, a line of counter-trusting arches on columns or pier. Again, a line of counter-trusting arches on columns or pier. Answer? Arcade. Next, in the classical order, the lowest part or member of the entablature, the beam that spans from column to column. Again, in the classical order, the lowest part or member of the entablature, the beam that spans from column to column. Answer? Architrave. 127. In classical architecture, the elaborated beam member carried by the column. Again, in classical architecture, the elaborated beam member carried by the column. Answer? Entablature. 128. Part of an entablature in order of top to bottom. Again, what is the part of an entablature in order of top to bottom? Answer? Cornice, priest, architrave. Next, the plan shape of a Chinese pagoda. Again, what is the plan shape of a Chinese pagoda? Answer, octagonal. Next, a usual member of stories for a Chinese pagoda. Again, what is the usual number of stories for a Chinese pagoda? Again, answer, 13. Next, a special feature of Japanese houses used to display a flower arrangement or art. Again, a special feature of Japanese houses used to display a flower arrangement or art. Answer, Tokonama. 132. What is the plan shape of a Japanese pagoda? Again, what is the plan shape of a Japanese pagoda? Answer? Square. Next, the most famous structure of Byzantine architecture and the notable of its large dome. Answer? Hagia Sophia. Next, triangular piece of wall above the entablature. Again, what do you call the triangular piece of wall above the tri entablature? Answer, pediment. Next, a spherical triangle forming the transition from the circular plan of a dome to the polygonal plan of its supporting structure. Again, a spherical triangle 
forming the transition from the circular plan of a dome to the polygonal plan of its supporting structure? Answer? Pendentive. The principal or central part of a church extending from the narthex to the choir and usually flanked by aisle. Again, the principal or central part of a church extending from the narthex to the choir and usually flanked by aisles. Answer? Nave. 138. The covered walk of an atrium. Again, what do you call the covered walk of an atrium? Answer? Ambulatory. 139. A basin for ritual. Again, a basin for ritual cleansing with water in the atrium of an early Christian basilica. Again, a basin for ritual cleansing with water in the atrium of an early Christian basilica. Answer? Cantarus. 141. An ornamental canopy of stone or marble permanently placed over the altar in a church. Answer? Baldacino. 142. A decorative niche open top with a canopy and housing a statue. Answer? Tabernacle. 143. A recess in a wall to contain a statue or other small items. Answer? Nietzsche. 144. A tower in the Muslim mosque used to call people to prayer. Answer? Minaret. 145. Cover, sunken panel in the ceiling. Answer? Lacunaria. 146. The Buddhist temple in ancient Cambodia which feature four faces of the compassionate Buddha. Answer? Bayon. 147. A term given to the mixture of Christian, Spanish, and Muslim in a 12th to 16th century architecture. Answer? Mudejar. 148. Projecting blocks of stone curved with foliage, typically in Gothic architecture. Answer? Crockett. 149. A slab forming the crowning member of the capital. Answer? Abacus. 150. The crowning member of a column. Answer? Capital. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video. I hope you learned something. Uh, good luck sa pag-review nyo and I hope makapasa na kayo sa board exam. Thank you and bye.